Good morning, campers. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. We're going to fly the new Discovery flight. So they just did a huge, uh, huge world update for uh, the United States. So it added a bunch of new landmarks, uh, some new scenery. And we're going to go check it out. It also added this this flight um, from Stewart International to uh, DCA, which I think is Reagan. Not sure. Honestly, no clue. <laughs> oh, look at this lovely, lovely airport. Stewart. Wait for everything to kind of, oh. Interesting. All oh, right, this is like a uh, kind of an intro cutscene where it just shows off your airplane. Usually, if you sit here long enough, you're at least in the uh, in the other one. Your pilot would ask for takeoff clearance and then roll out to the runway. That doesn't seem to be happening here. No. Not gonna. Not go okay. Fine. I'll get ready to fly. I was ex I was just waiting for the. Just waiting for it, you know? Alright, so according to... Oh, we've got... X-Ray Golf Sierra. Cool. Oh, nope. I've overdone it. I've overdone it. I've overdone it. I've overdone it. Oh, nope, nope. There we go. Now pull our inertial separator to bypass. We've got our... That to full... Uh, we've got our landing lights on. Let's get our taxi light. I like having the taxi light on as well. Strobe, nav, beacon. Uh, let's get all of our lights on. And let's just release the parking brake before the engine overheats. Prop and stall heat. All right, this is the Discovery flight, so it should be relatively straightforward. Well, we are losing the center line a little bit. There's 70, oh, nope, that was a little early. There's 70. Speed climb a little more. Let's track flaps. Watch for the nose to drop. There we go. Start climbing again. Whoa! Trim, 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 trim. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Apparently, the trim was not anywhere close to neutral. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Whew. Exciting. Ooh, Vector X-ray Golf Sierra, continue for self departure. I will contact you next when you leave my airspace. All right, perfect. Tower Cessna Alpha Sierra, X-ray Golf Sierra, continue for self departure. Okay, so what's our flight plan look like? So we're just heading toward the river right now, that's all. Alright. Alright, that's fine. I have just, like, completely uh, gone off course already. Let's get our... Golf Sierra, you are leaving my airspace frequency that's I wanted... 
Cessna Alpha Sierra. X-ray Alpha Sierra there we go. frequency change. Half bank. Let's turn nav mode on. And then we'll have it hold. Yeah, actually, 2000 is really good. Yeah, let's hold 2000. At least I hope 2000 is good. I can't imagine there's going to be much. Uh, I can't imagine 2000 is going to be a bad situation. Let's get flight following. New York approach Cessna Alpha Sierra. X-ray Golf Sierra is type Cessna Caravan, seven miles southeast of Stewart. Request flight following. Cessna Alpha Sierra, X-ray Golf Sierra, New York approach. Squawk 2377. Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra radar contact, 8 miles southeast of Stewart, 2,000 feet. Altimeter, 299 decimal 902. 299 cool. Copy Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. Oh gosh, we're almost at our red line speed. Wow, this plane's actually, actually good now. Uh, <laughs> let's pull back our RPM to about 1,800. There we go. Just get it a little bit, a little bit quieter in here, and we're gonna just kind of keep an eye on our. Uh... Actually, yeah. Let's pull this back to about. Three fifty uh, PPH. That would be a pretty good cruise speed. Uh, dropping to 154. <laughs> oh, we're still doing fine. That's still a pretty good cruise. All right. For this plane, compared to what I was getting last time I flew it, <laughs> this is great. Why can I not control that anymore? Well, I'll have to figure that out later. I can't seem to move my uh, my camera in my seat anymore. Oops, I just did the cow flaps. Open, close thing. Let's shut that. Let's make sure that's not done too much to my uh, my power here. We can turn our lights off. Oh, and uh, I assume it's just me in the plane for this flight? Oh, well, actually, we probably have passengers, right? So yeah, let's give them power. We don't need the wing light on. One two six four. One two six decimal four for Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. This is the part where my gameplay for this mostly consists of changing radio frequencies. <laughs> I like that somehow my tendency to be a really slow driver New York approach Cessna, has Alpha translated Sierra, to Golf, Sierra, Microsoft Flight feet. Simulator as well as, you know, reality. Two nine or nine or two, got it. No ice on the wings. Let's check out some outside views. Ding to choke. No. Nope. Ah, there we go. Choking cameras. 
so many good cameras on the on the uh, 208. So good. <laughs> oh, I like that one. That's that's the camera that we're gonna use for the Statue of Liberty. Oh man, that's a good one too. Gosh, that's so good. That's that's terrible. That one's not great. <laughs> Oh, that's like your ice figure. That's good. That's just left of the default. Good to know. Good to know. Because that's way easier than trying to move my uh, character's point of view around inside the... Uh... Um, oh. <laughs> Thought for a second the game froze. There we go. Back inside. So this button's straight to that. Yep. <laughs> I can do things. We are on autopilot at the moment. I've got half bank on. Uh, yaw damper? Nope, yaw damper still doesn't work. That's fun. There's waypoint one. That's good. Doesn't appear to be a. Yeah, okay. The, most of the rest of these are. Um. Yeah, most of the rest of these look like they are actual waypoints. That's good. It's like they're actual uh, scenic viewpoints. Yeah, um, landmarks. That's the word I was looking for. Landmarks. Wow, why couldn't I remember the word landmarks? Okay, so we're probably going to be on the river for the rest of this. Can I zoom out? Nope, nope. New York Scenic Corridor. Yes, okay. So th that's fine. So let's just. We're just gonna follow the river. So let's get our heading bug. And we're gonna do. We're gonna drop down to a thousand feet. V speed, 300 feet per second down, and we're going to activate heading mode. And we're going to fly by turning the heading knob. Nope, that was the wrong button. That was the wrong button. That was the... Oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, cool. Is everything still set right? Yes. Everything appears to still be set correctly. Whew. That was very much the wrong button. Ooh! Bridge! The, uh, it's a toll bridge, whatever it is. There's a toll plaza here. Alright, so this is... Tappan Z Bridge, I think. Also, the traffic is in the water. That's cool. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is the thing I don't super like about uh, more detailed areas, is if uh, if a bridge hasn't been replaced by a custom model, then it's going to be that, uh, the photogrammetry model, which is this like kind of low, um, low quality. Let's descend a little faster. It's this pretty low quality model where it's... You know, oh, that's the back course. Whoop, I went heading mode. It's kind of low quality model, you know, because the, uh, it's just built using, heck, we could probably go down to like 500 feet. Will the autopilot let me go down to 500 feet? What's the radar altitude off this river? Okay, so the river's right at zero. Good. 
Perfect. We're going to sea level. Might actually be prudent to slow down here a little bit. <laughs> Flight plan can go away. At a thousand? Ooh. One two seven decimal six. One two seven decimal six for Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. One two seven six. Switch over and contact. New York approach Cessna Alpha Sierra, X-ray Golf Sierra 1,000 feet. Cessna Alpha Sierra, X-ray Golf Sierra, New York approach continue as planned. Altimeter 2 niner, decimal niner 2. Surely none of the bridges on this, on this uh, river will be over 500 feet tall, right? <laughs> what could go wrong? It's got to be ready to, like, snap the, uh, snap autopilot off and take over. Flight lower and lower. How's that? Yes, perfect. <laughs> Actually, am I going to have enough room in the frame for the Statue of Liberty? Yeah, if I time it really well. It should work. Because, you know, I've got to get the Statue of Liberty for the thumbnail. But yeah, so um, the way the photogrammetry works is all of these buildings and stuff. They, they, so when they went through and scanned this area, it was in an airplane and it was just taking, it was just shooting LIDAR straight down at the ground. So it's got really good uh, resolution on like the exact features of the tops of every building and all the trees and stuff. So, you know, from the air, it looks pretty good, but I'm seeing some bridges up ahead that are kind of getting me worried. It's like, you know, when it's looking down from above, it can't see what's underneath the things that it's that it's hitting. Uh, that's pretty good, I think. Five hundred. Maybe one more to the right. Boop. I just got my five hundred call out on my radar altimeter, which I guess is probably just going to keep happening. So maybe six hundred would be a smart. Uh. No, I want to. V speed and. That's V nav. That's I want V speed. Vertical speed. VNAV off. Something's happening. Oh, I'm getting super laggy all of a sudden. Deactivate autopilot. <laughs> That's what's happening there. Okay. Let's... Oh, did I just, like, emergency disconnect my autopilot? <laughs> Alright, I guess we're flying this by hand. Uh, VNAV, off. V speed. Uh, altitude hold. Autopilot on. Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra contact New York approach on one two seven decimal three. One two seven three. Going to one two seven decimal three Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. Mm. 
<laughs> okay. So what happened there was we started getting some uh, load in, some lag from stuff loading in, right as I was trying to change my vertical speed, and I accidentally hit VNAV, and that just made that thing go utterly wild. <laughs> Let's turn half bang. Yeah, I'll see if half bang on. I think that's pretty. That's a pretty good idea. like the detail but yeah so the so the airplane that was scanning in all these buildings is just shooting lidar straight at the ground so it's got great resolution on all the parts of the building that face the sky and it's got like actual photos of those buildings to be pasted on for the ground texture when you get a bridge it sees the bridge as a solid object that is whatever the top part of the bridge looks like so you usually get like the road deck or or the structure of the bridge it makes iron bridges look really terrible because it reads all the individual like iron bars as one like blob structure um, like you saw on the tappan z bridge back there um, and then it also just renders like from the side the farthest sides of either part of the bridge that it can measure it just puts a wall on it going straight down to the water and then the game just paints the uh it treats that like a building so it it's got you know it's got a photo that the plane took of the side of the bridge and it slaps that image on on the side so you can actually see a picture of the water <laughs> on this flat side of the bridge that goes all the way down to the water line so you can't you can't like fly under the bridges or um or anything like that goodness i can't believe how good the performance is up here i just i've been avoiding new york city entirely because i didn't think my computer could handle it this is fantastic. But yeah, so the photogrammetry winds up looking excellent for... Okay, maybe not excellent. But it winds up looking pretty good for, you know, buildings. And it winds up looking absolutely awful for bridges. And we need to adjust our heading bug. Why does the Empire State Building look so bad? Hmm. All right, I'm guessing the, uh, what few of these have custom models. Ooh, there's, uh, I think that's the uh, train station down there. Um, presumably the custom models have just not loaded in, is what's happened here. I'm too far away or something. So there's the Brooklyn Bridge over there. Governor's Island, and then I assume that's the Statue of Liberty. Yep, okay. Cool, let's get out to this view. Get my feet on the pedals again. We're going to disengage the autopilot. And I'm just going to bring us out here. This is highly illegal, by the way. You don't get to do this in... Uh, in real airplanes. Let's go check out the Empire State Building. See if the game decides to load a, a better looking model of that as we get closer. I'm not going to suddenly discover my, my game can actually handle New York City and not get as close as I can to the uh, whoop, to the buildings. Let's camera, uh, smart cam target, object interaction. There we go. Oh, hey, yes, yeah, the higher detailed building's loaded in now. Oh, that looks much better. 500. Yeah, it's way better now. Oh, I got an achievement for that. Rubber neck. <laughs> Game's like, oh, wait, no, look at the Empire State Building again. <laughs> Neat. I wasn't expecting to actually be able to do that turn that sharp around the building there. That was cool. Let's go take a look at the Brooklyn Bridge. Because presumably the Brooklyn Bridge will also be 
uh, high detail. Oh, this bridge looks pretty good too. Whichever bridge this is. My autopilot's very unhappy about the way I turned it off. Oh, look at that though. Like there's something going weird under the under the bridge. Like maybe oh, I bet the uh 500. Yeah, I bet there's still like a flat st structure along the side of it. Yeah. You can kind of see like a reflection of 500. A flat structure there underneath the bridge. Super weird looking. So yeah, it's, look, it's like they've just added a transparent. They've just made the uh, the weird wall underneath the bridge transparent <laughs> instead of making it a uh, a gap in the model. I bet you can't fly underneath that. I bet if you try and fly underneath that, you crash into the bridge, which I think the Brooklyn Bridge is is this one. I'm pretty sure that one's the Brooklyn Bridge. It looks the most like the one from Spider Man too. I like the traffic's actually on the bridge. That's fantastic. <laughs> Oh, I guess I should just like. Five hundred. I guess the smart thing to do is just active pause, like right in front of the Statue of Liberty, right? For the uh, for the photo. <laughs> I hope a decent quality Statue of Liberty actually is loaded in. So I'm pretty sure she's looking outward at the uh, at the bay, so she'll be looking to the left. No, why are you looking that way? Why are you looking that way, plane? Okay, yeah, it's, I'm getting some stuff loading in right now, so I was kind of hiccupy there. A lot of stutters, a lot of stutters, a lot of stutters. <laughs> My only knowledge of New York geography comes from the old Spider-Man 2 game on uh, original Xbox and GameCube. very upset with me for doing such a sharp turn. Where's my statue? so much speed right now. This is a really good way to stall your airplane in in one of these. It's doing such a tight turn. Alright, there we go. There we go. 
Now we can really get close. Let's 500. drop one notch of flaps. Just to act like air brakes here. <laughs> That's closer. I need to make this quick because I think my speed is plummeting. Uh, F12? <laughs> Got it! Alright. Back inside. Oh dear, this is gonna be bad. Nose down, nose down, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. <laughs> okay. We're good. We're good. Ooh, that was close. Let's bring the throttle back so we don't, don't over torque the engine because we definitely had that flashing red. Ah, oh, that was way too close. So yeah, what happens when you active pause is uh, whatever is happening to your plane as far as airspeed goes keeps happening. So if your airspeed is dropping rapidly, your airspeed will continue to drop rapidly. <laughs> so you've got to be really careful not to, uh, not to active pause your way into a stall situation. Let's get the autopilot back on. And get nav mode back on as well. Alright. <laughs> oh, that was fun. That was fun. So the New York area, there's a lot of stutteriness uh, from stuff loading in as you fly uh, along this, this path. But uh, overall, the performance is pretty good. And a lot of these bridges look excellent. And a lot of them look terrible. <laughs> kind of a little bit, a little bit of both situation. But um, yeah, you know, like this one's got the got the solid wall all the way to the ground. That's interesting that the uh, the custom bridges are just the photogrammetry bridges with some transparencies and a little more detail added in. That's really interesting. Like I hadn't I hadn't noticed on custom bridges before that there was still like that solid uh, solid wall on the side of the under uh, underneath the bridge it's good to know I definitely won't be trying to fly under any <laughs> not that flying under bridges is any is something that is recommended to um, any uh, anybody in reality but, you know, it's kind of a staple of flying games to attempt that. I've got my flaps retracted, right? Yeah. No, we're good. And we're still at 1,800. Should be 1,800 RPM? Uh, close. Let's just nudge that up a little bit. Nudge that up just a tiny bit more. Just a tiny bit more. There we go. Yeah, a lot of caravans just cruise at 1800 RPM. Like, just just bringing that back a little bit really reduces the noise in the airplane, uh, which is a good thing for passengers. All right, so going from the statue to new... Whatever that is. It's more baseball diamonds. Those always look good from the air. Baseball diamonds are just such a great landmark when you know where they are because they just stand out so well. Let's zoom this map out a bit more. It's really windy today. I mean, it's probably not actual wind. It's probably whatever preset the game has decided this flight needs to be done at because obviously it's dark here right now. <laughs> it's at like 6 p.m. Pacific time, so it's 9 p.m. or later. Uh, I presume it's well after 6 p.m. now in Pacific time. I just, I've lost track of time. Uh, it's 7.45 p.m. Pacific time, so it's 9, 10, 11, 11, 45 p.m. Coming up on midnight on the East Coast, and it's still lovely blue out here. 
So yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> definitely just a, a preset for the weather here, but that's cool. That's cool. All right, we got the plane flying our uh, chosen chosen flight path. That's excellent. Let's get our butts back up to 2,000 feet, because I don't know what else there is to see here. Vertical speed, and we want to climb. 400 feet per minute in order to do it. And we're gonna throttle up a tiny bit. That was too much. That was too much. There we go. It's really touchy throttle on this plane. But it's so much fun to fly. I'm so glad they, they made it faster. <laughs> I really love this plane, but it was so much slower in the game that it's supposed to be in real life. And this is this is a powerful little plane in reality. This is this is your uh, this is your like way too large of an engine in just a utility truck <laughs> sort of plane. Are these all set correctly? Yeah, starters at norm norm on 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 yeah. Just running through and checking to make sure all my switches are properly set because I didn't do the. Uh, I did not do an actual pre-flight on this. I, why do I even need this view? None of the circuit breakers do anything. So anyone have any idea where we're going <laughs> from here? Like, what is Ringer? Is our next waypoint, it looks like? Yeah. But that's just an intersection. So that's uh, like a named GPS. There's a freeway. Don't know which one. I, I avoided this area like the plague during my entire trucking career, so there's, I've got very little knowledge of the geography uh, in this area. So I'm just like, just let the plane fly itself. <laughs> We're at 2,000 feet. I'm just going to back off a little bit on the throttle. Because I just realized we've got way more fuel than we need for this flight. So why not full throttle for the parts where I have no idea where we're going? Our next waypoint is Trenton, New Jersey, it looks like. Let's see if we can't just push our push our power right to the limit. Get it like as close to the red line as we can. 
All right, hands off. Two, three, nine. Up. All right, I think that's maximum power. Maximum safe power, at least. How's that on speed? 170 true. 166 indicated. Okay, we're flashing into the red here, so we're just gonna crack that back just a tiny bit. We want it close, we don't want it blinking red. Yeah, these all look good. I haven't actually gotten to taxi this airplane since, or land it, since the update. So this is going to be an interesting, uh, interesting landing, potentially. All right, yeah, altitude hold, half bank, flight director, nav mode. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. True airspeed, 169. Nice. So we're heading for New... Well, we're over New Jersey, because that's what's this side of New York. <laughs> so I, I know all of two places in New Jersey. Neither of them are up here. I've, been, I've done deliveries in Newark, and I just try to forget about those. <laughs> but we're not near... We're, not, we're nowhere near the part of New Jersey I actually did like deliveries in somewhat regularly. There's a place called... I think it's called Santa Suites which do like cherry tomatoes and stuff in Southern New Jersey. That place I like delivering to. Southern New Jersey is delightful. It's a great place to take a tractor trailer because it's just, none of it's really built for tractor trailers, but the roads are surprisingly decent. Like you can tell they're, what considerations were made for trucks were made for trucks that were, you know, like 20, 30 years older than mine. Um, but that's still pretty decent truck routes and it, it's nice and rural and just, a lot of fun to drive around out there because there's so much less traffic than in the busier parts of this this state and so, like there's there's a reason that new jersey is called the garden state it's not anything to do with the parts of new jersey that you see on on tv around new york it's the parts of new jersey that are like south of like the southern half of new jersey is why they call it the garden state it's beautiful absolutely beautiful there's another freeway i think I suspect, I suspect we have a freeway. Indeed, not sure what's going on here. Some kind of warehouse. Warehouse, warehouse, warehouse. Warehouse, big warehouse. I like that the trucks didn't get the, uh, didn't get the 3D rendering spiel. Uh, look at the it's weird little bridges. This is so goofy looking. I honestly think that the uh, Black Shark AI generates better looking scenery than a lot of the photogrammetry. Honestly. Granted, again, you know, medium settings, but still. Like the detail is not really there because I'm on such a uh, such an old computer. But I mean, all things considered, medium settings. This is fantastic. When you zoom out, you're not paying. You're not looking super close. A couple thousand feet in the air, looks excellent. When you when you zoom in on it, and you're like, oh, let's get some detail on that bridge. And it becomes a wait, what the hell is going on there? <laughs> sort of thing. But like you know, up here, zoomed out like this, it's like, oh hey, that doesn't look half bad. It's like super realistic. Yeah, look at that. Cool. There's you know, a little bridge there and the road there and there's like occasionally some cars. <laughs> this game looks so much better than it has any right to on my computer. So much better. And the inside of the plane, of course, looks phenomenal. Speaking of inside the plane, let's go outside the plane. <sighs> I 
do love this. This yoke looks so good. I wish someone made a, a yoke for um, a PC yoke that was just this yoke. This is what I want. <laughs> just give me three giant buttons on on the left uh, the left stick of the yoke. You know, hat switch. I don't know what that button is in in reality. Probably like push to talk. Now, I think push to talk's on the back of the yoke. That might be push to talk though. The game has decided that's the toggle yoke visibility. But yeah, you got trim. Trim up, trim down. And it's the split switch, so I like that. And you've got the autopilot disconnect button. And I want to say there's the, the trigger on the back is the push to talk on the actual plane. Not a trigger, obviously, but there's I think there's a button on the back that's pushed to talk, and it might be this. I honestly don't know. I would, I would just love a Cessna Caravan flight yoke for a computer. Like, I think they did some Cessna, uh, like Cessna Skyhawk flight yokes for a while. I think it was like the Logi I think it was like a special edition of the Logitech. But uh, that was before... I was in a position to buy anything more complicated than a $20 uh, joystick. <laughs> oh, yes, as it is, as it is, I am now officially saving up for a very specific, uh, very specific set of flight controls that are coming out next year. So over the course of 2021, there are going to be two product releases that I desperately want to grab. There's one that's happening at the end of this year that I want to get. That's the uh, Honeycomb Bravo uh, flight controls. So it's a uh, bunch of switches, bunch of throttles, and interchangeable handles for the different throttles. And it's got six throttle axes, which is excellent. And I really want that. Um, so that's the first one I'm, tr I'm going to try and get. And then next year, Honeycomb's releasing a uh, set of rudder pedals that I want to grab. And I only want the rudder pedals because they're compatible with uh, the new version of the Honeycomb Yoke, the Alpha. Um, and that's going to be coming out next year, and that is an Xbox controller version of the Honeycomb Yoke. So that and uh, that Honeycomb Yoke combined with an extra like Xbox adapter thing will allow you to take the uh, it'll allow you to take the Alpha flight controls, the Yoke and connect it to the Charlie pedals and the Bravo throttle quadrant and connect all three of them to an Xbox Series X and play Flight Simulator on the Xbox version. And I just assume that's going to look way better. <laughs> way, way better than my little laptop can handle. And so at that point, uh, once the Xbox version of this game is out and I've got like decent controls for it, we will absolutely switch to the Xbox version. I'm just really excited because I want that so bad. They're also doing a uh, a stick and throttle as well. And if those come out before the uh, if those come out before the Xbox version of Flight Simulator is really ready, we might grab those for we might grab those to replace the uh, the joystick and throttle that I use. I'm, I'm currently using the uh, Thrustmaster T16000 and the uh, TWCS throttle weapon control system. And they're great, don't get me wrong, but like one that's actually geared for like commercial aircraft would be pretty cool. Labeled switches is just what I would be excited for there. <laughs> and and a, a throttle that's not left-handed <laughs> would be nice. Because the throttle should be on the right. <laughs> but my throttle is very much a left-handed throttle, so it's got to be on the left. Yeah, where are we now? Trenton to Philadelphia. We apparently passed over Trenton already? I've got no idea. This must be the Delaware River then. Out to our left. Which means I assume that's... Interstate 95. Are we just going to fly right over Philadelphia International Airport? <laughs> See if I recognize anything down there. 
Uh, no, it's photogrammetry still, because you can see the bridges are weird. Nope, I got nothing. It doesn't look like a freeway. Like, it just looks like a, uh, looks like a particularly busy surface street. Yeah, here's a clover, here's an interchange with at least one clover leaf, but it looks like it's got turns, uh, in and out of the road. This is clearly a freeway of some kind. That's a toll booth right there, so for that, whatever that bridge is, is tolled. This might be Route 1, to come to think of it. U.S. Highway 1. That's kind of like a super street in a lot of areas up here. Where it's just like, you know, sections of it have some considerations made for higher speeds, and sections of it are just, it's a surface street. <laughs> and you're just going to deal with it. And I assume that's the uh, Amtrak corridor actually running along with it. Yeah, probably not Route 1. Ooh! Alright, so as we fly directly overhead, some of these places render into quite a bit more detail. Look, there's, you can see individual uh, trailers on this bit. And it's gone again. <laughs> well, that was really nice for a second. You can just see these buildings morphing. Well, all of these buildings touch the blue cu the blue cube from the Andalites at some point. Yeah, see, this looks more freeway-ish now. So yeah, we're just zipping along the Delaware River. This is cool. This is cool. It's nice to be in a part of the U.S. that I don't know that much about. Cause like I spent so much time trucking in the western half of the country, like this is so much closer to where I grew up than all the places that I know well. <laughs> Cause I just avoided this area like the plague. Even if when I was going home, I tried, I tried my hardest not to get a delivery um, east of Interstate 81 in Pennsylvania for my return trips home. It's like east of east of 81. Uh, in Pennsylvania uh, and Maryland and then north of US 17 in Virginia was my uh, my cutoff for like I don't want to go in this bubble for deliveries to go home when I lived in when I still lived in Virginia it's like just when you had a delivery somewhere between Boston and Washington DC Boston and Fairfax, really. Fairfax, Virginia. It was just like an extra day automatically on getting home. It was such a nightmare. Like, I would rather do... I would rather do a delivery to go home. Uh, I lived uh, about 20 minutes south of Richmond on Interstate 95. Um, and for trips going home, I would prefer a delivery in Hazleton, Pennsylvania over one in Washington, D.C., because I would get home sooner. <laughs> Which is ridiculous when you say that out loud. <laughs> yeah, it does look really good from the air. Like from up here, when you're just... Not, when I'm resisting the urge to just zoom in on stuff, it looks much better. Which I've got... I've really just got to resist that urge. Because very few objects are are as detailed as you want them to be up close. <laughs> There's Philadelphia coming into view dead ahead. Ooh. I regret zooming in. <laughs> I've I literally just said I need to not zoom in. Don't zoom in. Just let let the level of detail happen up ahead of me before I'm trying to see it. <sighs> Enjoy the stuff that's currently out the window. That looks almost like a... Uh, like a theater, but I think it's some kind of mine. Like an amphitheater. Actually, I'm... You know what? That could be like a concert venue. 
Because it kind of looked like it had a, uh, kind of looked like it had a parking lot there, or like a campground. Maybe a drive-in movie theater would explain that shape as well. Some drive-in movie theaters have like a little campground attached so you can bring an RV in and watch the movie. Or if it's in like an industrial park, you'll get like bobtail trucks coming in to watch it. That's not, not unheard of. Are the cabin lights on in... Oh, I, I turned the cabin lights on. Silly me. Don't need cabin lighting in the, uh, during the day. There we go. Much better. I don't need to be rendering lighting effects on the inside of my airplane during a time that they're entirely unnecessary. <laughs> oh, Philadelphia looks pretty good. Oh, I love this view so much. <laughs> I don't know why I love this this perspective so much. And that one just yeah. <laughs> Oh That's the Ben Franklin Bridge, I believe. Kind of disappointed that didn't get a uh, higher quality model. That's a really famous bridge. I think if, if any part of Philadelphia got a uh, got retouched, that would be the one. But apparently not. And one of one of these piers is that nightclub that collapsed. I think <laughs> maybe this one. Some some clever person thought it would be a ah, loading. Some clever person thought it'd be a good idea to build a nightclub on one of these piers that just sticks out into the water, and it was just way too many, way too many people for uh, for that. Oh, it's like those dockside cranes at like AT-ATs. Star Wars. <laughs> the uh, and that I assume that's the container mover thing that. Oh, that's funny how that that winds up looking. Actually, that might be the Ben Franklin Bridge there. It's kind of got that greenish hue to it. I'm pretty sure it's the one up there. I don't know. One of those bridges is the Ben Franklin Bridge. Named for someone. I don't know who. Um, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I've heard of Ben Franklin. I like that it's rendering some actual like boats down there. I'm pretty sure that's not a... Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not photogrammetry. I think that's just the game populating some boat models onto the river. But, you know, I could be wrong. I could easily be wrong about that. That's an aircraft carrier. Holy crap. Um. Oh, I'm going to regret this. We're doing it. We're doing it. Uh, autopilot off. Excellent. <laughs> oh, I'm going to regret this. There's no way I'm going to be able to take off again. We're just going to do a touch and go on it, I think. No, wait, it's going to be counted as a building, isn't it? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Let's just do like a really low flyby and see what it thinks it is. If it's counted as a building, then... If it looks like a building and not a ground texture, we'll we'll run away with our tails between our legs. All right, I just need some speed to drop. Another notch of flaps. Landing lights. 
Oh, this is a terrible idea. There's no way. 500. Yeah, 500. I think this is a, uh, a museum of some kind. Are you a building or are you a ground texture? Didn't touch it. <laughs> uh. Hey, you know what? That's it's probably for the better. I should I should come back and check that uh, <laughs> when I'm not flying a uh, a mission. Ooh, dry dock. That's interesting. I'm dying to see if that's actually a surface you can land on. Uh, it's got to be right. How could that not be landable? All right, we're gonna get, we're gonna come at it uh, in such a way that we get the whole length of the deck and not just the angled part, not just like the landing zone. Oop. Yeah, had the uh, had the heat up a bit too much there. We're getting a little bit slow. All right, bringing our speed down again, or bringing our throttle down again. Five hundred. Yep, yeah, I know. It's a building. No! <laughs> water! It's water. <sighs> that was disappointing. <laughs> All right, I'm going to restart the uh, thing and, and uh, I'll start recording when I, when I get back to Philadelphia. 